Greetings fellow programmers, this is Pavel and this is a C-sharp exercise from chapter 17, exercise 8 from the C-sharp how to program textbook. We are going to create a WinForm application that collects the data or entry from the user as a response to, uh, to a poll question. There will be, uh, this is basically the basic uh, structure. There will be uh, a rating 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. Uh, I don't know, we can do something like how to uh, how do you rate the school and we will capture the frequency, in other words, how many responders uh, chose 1, 2, 3, 4 or 5. This is a, just a sample that was given to us uh, in the exercise they call to back to figure 8-8 figure eight, eight from the book which is nothing more than uh, than this basically a sample data but uh, in this exercise the data will be uh, loaded from the file and at the end we will also save the responses to the file we will uh, uh, append the, the new uh, data to it so um, it's um, it's fairly simple uh, so uh, I already created a form this is the form when I load it, uh, nothing happens except the form loads. It has a, uh, you know, the question, how would you rate the school? One terrible, five best school ever. And I have a drop down with the responses as well as the um, radio buttons. Now in normally, obviously you would only have one or the other. I chose both uh, just for this exercise to kind of show uh, how each of these are being used to collect the the data so but uh, in a regular application you would definitely have just one or the other uh, and uh, once the user makes the selection we can record the answer and we will populate the list box over here which is uh, a read only with all the uh, current uh, data uh, we can also just click display results and uh, it will again just populate the current data in the list box and quit of course quits right now nothing works this is just a basic form without any coding yet so uh, I guess let's get to do some coding so um, the first thing that we need to do uh, well let me do the quit button first simply because that's easy so in our quit uh, button click uh, I will simply do application dot exit and uh, that exits the app once the um, quit button is clicked all right so um, what do we need to collect the uh, the data well we need uh, we need an array uh, we need a file which I already have the file it's a simple text file which I put into the debug folder of my app and the text file simply says one two three four and five separated by comma and the responses one is the, the rating and the number after that is the number of responses uh, so uh, this is the structure of the file but uh, we don't really need to capture the we know that's five questions or five uh, five ratings one two three four five but we only ha have to really collect the answers because the uh, we, we have a uh, if we have an array with five elements we'll know that the first element corresponds with the first answer the s uh, second with the second and so forth so um, we need an array that will store the responses and um, well, we'll need a bunch of others which we will do as they uh, as the need comes so uh, we will do a constant string I'll call file path and this is the path to our um, to our text file, which I called Paul TXT. Now the uh, the array is a is a simple integer that will uh, simply store the number of uh, responses for each uh, rating or for each answer. So uh, I'll just call the responses, and I'll initialize it right here. And uh, it's we have five responses. 
but um, well before we do that instead of hard coding five how about I do a private constant and integer and I'll just call it uh, number of uh, responses or number of uh, ratings like that and I will initialize it to five so this way if we have a different number of ratings later we can simply come over here and uh, change the change the constant and we don't have to change anything else in the array or later in the in the methods so um, that's that and um, first thing let's load the file I guess so we can do it uh, on our form load uh, event so I'll go, go to my uh, form load event uh, code and uh, well, let's load the file. We can use the stream reader, of course, to read the file and to populate the array. So in our event, I will do using, and we will use the stream reader. I'll just call it sr equals new uh, stream reader. And we will uh, use the file path constant which holds the uh, path to our uh, to our uh, file and inside of the using we can do something like um, while uh, while not at the end of the file so our end of stream we will uh, populate the array of uh, the responses with the each line of, uh, of from the uh, from the text file so I will declare a variable read uh, line equals sr read line and now I can do uh, a simple if statement um, we need to split the uh, if you remember the text file has a comma separated numbers we are only interested in the second ones so I have to eliminate the first ones. and the, the way to do it is to use the read line that split so um, but I also want to make sure that uh, there's something in the file like if it's a blank file I don't want it to read anything so I'll, I'll do a simple if uh, read line not equal null in other words if there actually is something to read then I will declare a variable line which will equal to the read line that split and um, we are splitting by the uh, by the comma so um, this this will capture one line at a time so uh, like the first line is one comma 13 so uh, and we split it into two we split it into one and 13 and then two and 24 so we are only interested in the uh, the second number in it. So we will do uh, we will, we cannot populate the responses uh, array. But one thing I forgot, uh, we need to know the index of the array that we are populating. So I need actually some kind of a counter first. So above the while, I will go and do a var counter. And I'll just in initialize it to zero. That's gonna be the first uh, index of the array. So now I can go responses, uh, the counter uh, equals, and we are collecting an integer. But uh, obviously the line is a string, so we have to, uh, oops, like this. Uh, we need to convert it to an integer. So convert that to integer 32 and we are converting the line which uh, but we don't want the whole line we just want the second number uh, which is the element one element zero is the first number element one is the second number of the line and after we do that we need to increase the counter for the next index inside uh, of our array so 
until we uh, have something to read uh, from the file we will read one line at a time uh, we'll make sure that the line is not empty if it is not uh, we will split the line into an array line and uh, that will give us two elements each line has two elements one the first number and the second number and we will populate the second number into our responses of the counter and then we will increase the counter for the next uh, index of the array so um, mm, this is uh, this should now work let me build it uh, we won't see anything yet but uh, oh, uh, I forgot something anything over right here I forgot semicolon all right I just want to build it to make sure that uh, everything works and if I run it we should load the form we won't see anything happening but the file obviously loaded now if I uh, what if I have a wrong file or a wrong path let's say I have pulse which doesn't exist so if I run it now I'll get an exception uh, because the file doesn't exist it's try to opening a file that doesn't exist now I don't want an exception I want to I want to use it to know that there was an error loading the file so as I have the using I'm using this uh, structure because it takes care of all like closing all the uh, all the open files and all that so uh, but I will wrap all this into our into a try catch I will just put the using everything from the using I will cut and paste into the try portion and the catch I will just uh, do something like uh, message box the dot show and we will show uh, problem opening the file and uh, since we cannot open the file we cannot really use the app so we can simply uh, we can simply exit the whole app so I will uh, if there's a, an exception thrown I will exit the application so if I op try to open it now with the wrong file in it I will get problem opening file I click OK and the uh, app closes so uh, this is how you read the file let me fix that uh, so now we have the correct one if I have the correct one it will simply load the form all right so uh, this is how the file is being read and in the next video we will go and uh, do some processing and displaying the data so uh, Stick around and go to see the second video.